Well, good news, your appraisal is ordered. And so here's, I just want to walk you through the appraisal process and timing and kind of what happens when we order the appraisal. So basically, you completed an appraisal order form for us. We take that information, we order the appraisal for you. That's pretty much the extent of what we can do legally. We cannot speak with the appraiser, uh, dispute values or anything. Um, so once you get the appraisal, you'll get a copy of it. I'll get a copy of it. If there's something you don't like on that, we can talk about it. Um, then you can pursue it with the actual appraiser if you'd like. But I'll kind of give you, you know, my feedback on what I think uh, of the, the, the final product that we get. So basically what we do is we'll, we'll uh, place the order on your behalf. They'll call you directly, set it up at your convenience. If you would, set it up as soon as you can to avoid any delays. But here's, here's basically what they're going to look at. They're going to look that the, the determines the value of your property, uh, the size of your home. You know, they want to compare. Basically, what they're trying to do is compare apples to apples. Uh, they want your square footage versus the other square footage in your area and things like that. Um, the exterior, you know, where you are. Are you on a busy street? Are you on a golf course? What kind of view do you have? Uh, what, and then also, what kind of property is it? Is it a brick? Is it cedar? Is it wood? Is it siding? Those, those things there. Interior. Um, you know, what kind of windows you have and, you know, doorways, what kind of doors, just the material on a lot of, a lot of the items on the interior. Extra features, you can go through here and it's like, you know, do you have a fireplace, a security system, smoke detectors, other amenities, pools, you know, what size of garage you have, uh, things like that. Improvements. Um, and it goes through here. How much upgrades you did to your kitchen, your bathrooms, what kind of appliances you have, stove, is it a Viking stove or a, you know, just a basic stove, uh, granite countertops. Um, you know, various things like that. What upgrades you, you did on the property. Here's some things that you might want to do before they come up. You know, make sure the house is cleaned up. I mean, that's, they're, they're supposed to overlook a lot of these things. But, you know, if it's a complete mess, uh, they might be biased on the low side of some things. Might not be a big difference, but, you know, every dollar is a dollar. If there's some repairs, you know, you have a leaky faucet. Um, you know, a window seal is, is chipped and the paint's chipped or you have a crack in the ceiling. You know, try to patch those up before they get out there, especially for an FHA or a VA loan. If you have, you know, any pets, large dogs, you know, please give them a courtesy of, you know, put that dog away, um, just out of the way, you know, put it outside for the time being, just so they can get through there safely. Um, and be honest, be honest and friendly to the person he's just doing his job there's no he or, he or she there's no reason that they want to lowball you um they're just doing their job they're coming out there doing the best they can evaluating your house versus the the homes in your area so basically that's you know what determines uh the value of your home one of the things that we look at and i probably walked you through this part of it already is zillow z-i-l-l-o-w we use that to kind of get a ballpark of values it's not the end all beat all it's just kind of a generic internet thing um, so now let's talk about one other thing the time frame so the appraiser might say okay i'll have this done today well, that doesn't mean we're going to get it today so what happens is we go through a management appraisal management company we place that order they assign an appraiser to the task they then go out and do the appraisal. They come back in and complete it. They send it back through the management company for audit. It'll go through audit. It might take a day, two, three days in audit to make sure everything is, is done completely and accurately. Sometimes it has to go back out to the appraiser because they might have missed something. The square footage might be different than, than showing at the county, so they're going to ask questions about that. If it's a condo, they're going to need uh, some questions about the association. Um, and so forth. So basically, when the appraiser tells you, you know, I'll have this done, you know, by tomorrow, give that another two or three days. Um, you know, when, when they're completed, what will happen is you should get a copy of it. We will get a copy of it. The underwriter will get a copy of it. When we get it, normally we will send it back out to you, uh, you know, giving you a copy. Um, I ask you to do the same thing. If you get a copy of it, um, send it to me if you haven't received it from me yet, vice versa. So, you know, the, the quicker we get it back, uh, the quicker everything moves forward. So basically, you know, again, once they're out there, 
I would expect, you know, three, four, five days before we actually get it back in our hands to work with it. So um, that's it for now. If, we, if you have any additional questions in regards to this, please give us a call, 630-338-1160. Otherwise, have a great day, and we will talk to you soon.